answering. What is yourself? Definition of yourself. Who am I really? Step by step. Today about thoughts and feelings. Thoughts and feelings are not you. Thoughts and feelings are not pure mind. They are just fleeting mental impressions that come and go. This is where we make the biggest mistake as human beings. We take our thoughts and feelings for ourselves. Absolutely incorrect. Ourselves, the pure mind, is separate from the mental impressions that come and go, that are fleeting. They just last a second or less because they are beyond. This is really what we're talking about, a real being beyond time and space. These conditioned impressions are just instantaneous. They rise and they fall. They rise and then disappear back into nothingness, into emptiness that come and go. Unless we interfere with them, unless we engage with them, unless we fixate on them and prolong them and make them feel substantial, they have absolutely no power over us. They're just fleeting mental impressions. They come and go all the time, non-stop, 24-7, come and go, come and go. But what we are is still, pure mind, still. We can just settle there and look all these impressions coming and going. And I'm not talking just about thoughts. I'm talking also about feelings because feelings are nothing else but thoughts expressed through the body. Through the physical impressions. That's all there is. They are all the thoughts. They're all mental concepts. They're all mental impressions absolutely conditioned by the human mind, by human condition. This is not what we are. This is not what is. This is separate. Let's not mix it up. Let's not believe wrongly that that is what we are and who we are. And that's all the trouble starts there. All the births and deaths, all the happiness and unhappiness, all the sheer exhilaration and sheer desperation, all the up and down and all the merry-go-round roller coaster again and again and again and again. It never stops. It never stops. It does not stop with the death. Do not believe that death is the rescue. Do not believe that death will give you peace unless you realize what is. The truth about what is and go beyond the human conditioning. As long as you stay in human conditioning, as long as you believe wrongly that thoughts and feelings are yourself, for that long there is no peace for you. There is no rescue in death. There is no peace in death either. You will be reborn again and go through all that merry-go-round and all that struggle and all that ups and downs and ups and downs again and again and again till you are able to understand and experience directly what is the pure mind. The stillness, the emptiness, the ease, the natural condition of what is. And there is nothing beyond that, and there is no source of that. That is the source itself, and it is completely all-knowing, which means that it is absolutely self-aware. So even on a daily basis, while you are immersing into the silence, into the deeper levels of mind, and getting close to this still part, the empty part, you can still, you can already access even for the fleeting mo moments the knowing, the absolute knowing. You will become aware of things that you have not even dreamed of, even for fleeting moments, even while you are still in the conditioning, human conditioning, even while you are still being completely inside the conditioned human body. You can already experience that. Any time that you spend immersed 
penetrating the mind into the deeper levels. It's a discovery of knowing that you did not have a clue about, of silence, of ease, of absolute ease of being. Because you are the natural self. You are what is. You are completely in sync with what is. It's all here and now. Do not wait for anything to come out of anywhere else because there is no else. Inside and outside it is all the same. There is nothing to come from anywhere else. It is all here and now. You just need to dive, penetrate your mind and get rid of these wrong beliefs about thoughts and feelings. They are not you. They just fleeting impressions that come and go momentarily. So do not interact with them. Do not interfere with them. Let them just be. Just let them be exactly like that. And they will completely disappear by itself momentarily. Because they are not you. Thank you.